Okay, so we're back in the shop with the 2019 monkey with the super trap. Ow. Wait, no, it's not hot. With the super trap Honda monkey exhaust. So normally I do my exhaust videos one, two, three, four. I do the what's on the bench unboxing sort of history informational. I do the installation, I do the sound test, and then I do the review. This review on the Super Trap exhaust is way, 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 way later than those first three videos. The reason for that is when I got this exhaust, this is one I've been wanting to try for a while. And I wanted to live with this exhaust for long enough to provide the proper review on it really kind of get a feel for how it's going to sound, especially with all of the different disc configurations that you could do. I wanted to give it due diligence and try all those different disc combinations, all the, you know, whether it's one, three, six, four, eight, however many discs you want to put in there. I want to see how it sounded with all those different configurations, see if it made a difference in power, just how it felt, how it sounded kind of get an overall really good idea about everything. So here we are. Months later, I've had the bike with this exhaust for quite some time now. Put it through a lot of different situations, wide open, um, around motocross tracks, creeping through trails, uh, just you know, trying to be quiet when I wanted to be quiet. And um, kind of overall, uh, here's what I think. When you get an exhaust for the Honda Monkey, there should be one thing that you understand. So it's probably not going to sound much different than any of the aftermarket exhausts out there. And I hate saying that because I really think it's um, desirable for exhaust companies to make their exhaust sound distinctive and um, signature. But with a 125cc single cylinder engine, they just don't sound that much different except the super trap so in low speeds the super trap is much quieter than the rest of the exhausts out there you can creep along it's not super quiet like trail 125 quiet but it's not loud it's not a pop 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 it's a put 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 it's it's different uh it's hard to describe so um but it is quieter at low speeds than all the other exhausts probably because it has the baffle system with the plates and stuff. So it does sound different. At full speed, full throttle, it's similar sounding to the rest of them. But through the rest of the RPM range, it does sound different. So you are going to get a signature and distinctive sound with the Super Trap, whereas I don't feel you're going to get that difference with any of the other exhausts, at least with the ones I've tested. So let's go on to the second area, the looks. So the Super Trap definitely has a distinctive look. It's got the megaphone look. It kind of looks like a Art Deco rocket spaceship sort of look to it. It's, um, it's vintage looking, that's for sure. So that goes with the motif of the Honda Monkey. It's a vintage styled bike. This exhaust definitely has a vintage look to it um, with the dull stainless. It's not chrome, it's not flashy, so you're gonna get a totally different look when you install this exhaust. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I'm a little bit impartial. Um, my wife saw it and she did not like it. Whereas I see it and I appreciate that it might look vintage. While you gotta like the idea of the Super Trap and the history and the vintage aspect of it, um, some people are looking for a more modern look, like the Terminioni or the Akrapovich, so it depends on where you're at with that. Now, every exhaust company is going to want to make sure to tell you that their exhaust makes more power than the stock exhaust. 
And yes, that has to be true. You're opening up the exhaust, you're removing restriction, but how much, really, I don't know. Um, it's hard to say because when you put an exhaust on, it makes the bike louder. It feels faster. It sounds faster. You can feel the exhaust now. You can feel the vibrations going through your hands even more. It, it just gives you the aura that you are going faster. Just throwing an exhaust on there, don't expect it to be groundbreaking and performance enhancing to the fact that you're gonna be blown away by it. So the one part of this exhaust that I could say no other exhaust has is tunability. So you can tune this exhaust using these plates and baffles back here. You can configure it to your mods. So there's all sorts of information on that through SuperTrap in the, in the manual, um, you know, just from people experimenting. So I didn't have the bike on a dyno. I don't know how many plates work best for the bike. But I think I settled on like four plates or five plates or three plates. I don't, I don't know. It's uh, four plates. I have four plates in it right now because I think the sound was the best with three or four plates. The more plates you have, the louder it gets. The less plates you have, the quieter it is. So I tried it with one plate. Didn't sound much different than it did with three. So I kept three plates to have more flow. So the less plates you have, the less flow you have, the more plates you have, the more flow you have. So if you have a lot of mods, put a lot of plates in it. If you don't have any mods, maybe put, you know, one to three plates in it. So um, that's different than any other exhaust out there. You can't tune and configure the other exhausts, except for maybe putting the spark arresters or the, uh, the baffles in them. So uh, I don't know if that does anything for power so much either, but mostly for sound. But that is unique with this exhaust, that you can tune it to your mods. So I've had this bike running for several months with the exhaust. I've washed it. Uh, I've run it through mud and dirt. And um, the exhaust still looks beautiful. There's no rust on it. I would hope there wouldn't be rust because everything's stainless steel. But, um, you know, basically it still looks... Same as the day I put it on. So durability and the finish quality is spot on with this exhaust. The installation of the exhaust is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You have one um, bolt right there and you have the header bolts. One of the easier systems that I've put on. It basically has one mount and um, doesn't use any additional bracketry. Everything is right there on the pipe. So ease of install is um, probably one of the easiest uh, as far as all the exhausts I've tried. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up and complete my series of videos on the Super Trap exhaust for the Honda Monkey. It's been a long time. Um, thanks for your patience and waiting for me. I hope you understand me wanting to be diligent with testing the exhaust long term rather than just getting it on, producing a video, and being done with it. I really gave this one time, and overall, I think it's a great exhaust. Uh, the, the deciding factors for most people are going to be the looks and the sound for most pipes. Don't focus on power, like I said earlier. Uh, so. I also de-emphasized focusing on sound because they all kind of sound the same. But if you want a distinctive sound that's different, Super Trap's gonna have that. If you want a distinctive look, Super Trap has that. So if you're looking for a distinctive look, obviously you know how it looks, but if you don't have the pipe, you don't know how it sounds yet, right? So hopefully my sound video before this helps out a little bit with that, but still that's a camera microphone and it's not your real ears. So. I will say that the pipe does sound really good in person. So if you're looking, if you're focusing on sound and looks, um, Super Trap's gonna be uh, definite. Yeah, it sounds better than the rest of them and it looks different. So if you like the looks and you want a different sound, Super Trap's a really good buy. So I give it good scores. I don't have a specific grading system. 
I don't have a 1 to 10. I don't like doing that. I like to tell you if I liked it. I liked it. Sounds good. It looks cool. And um, that should be mostly what matters with you and choosing exhaust. So hopefully this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy all my other content. I got a lot of it coming out. And um, please subscribe if you do. Let me know what you thought. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.